In today's video, I'll be sharing with you some of the pros and cons of living in Lake Tahoe. Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, I'm Gabriella and I am an outdoor photographer who is currently living in beautiful Lake Tahoe. So today I want to talk about some of the pros and cons, small cons, of living in Lake Tahoe. But before I do, I just want to go ahead and remind you to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when a new video is up. After living in Lake Tahoe for almost a year, I decided to put together a list of pros and cons based on what my personal experience has been like living here. I really hope this list is helpful to anyone who is thinking of moving to Lake Tahoe or wondering what it's like to live here and just wants an inside perspective. Guys, just one thing to keep in mind, the points made in this video are completely, completely subjective, subjective and based on my own personal experience living in Lake Tahoe. So with that being said, let's just get right into it. I'm gonna start with the pros of living in Lake Tahoe. Pro number one of living in Lake Tahoe is the spectacular scenery. The scenery in Lake Tahoe is nothing short of magnificent. The phenomenal clarity of the lake is something you have to see to believe. Adding to the beauty are the snow-capped peaks and the alpine forests that surround the sparkling lake. Being able to wake up every single day and enjoy such stunning scenery is a huge perk of living in Lake Tahoe. Pro number two, Lake Tahoe is a photographer's dream. Lake Tahoe is a very attractive place for outdoor photographers due to its incredible natural beauty. It's also a great place for action, adventure, and wildlife photographers. Pro number three, tons of outdoor activities. If you're an outdoor enthusiast or adventurous type, then you will feel right at home in Lake Tahoe. It's an excellent place for hiking, biking, skiing, snowshoeing, kayaking, paddleboarding, wakeboarding. I can go on and on. Pro number four is the beautiful beaches. Lake Tahoe's 72-mile shoreline is home to some of the most picturesque beaches in the country. A phrase that I like to use to describe Lake Tahoe's beaches is Alpine Caribbean, but instead of palm trees, it's pine trees and snow-capped mountains that surround the turquoise water. Pro number five is the weather. Lake Tahoe has beautiful, ever-changing weather. It's said to receive about 300 days of sunshine a year, and its climate can best be described as dry and temperate. Even in the summer, there's very little humidity. A huge perk if you're not a fan of muggy weather, which I personally am not. <laughs> Another great thing about living in Tahoe is that it has all four seasons. You'll get to enjoy spectacular fall colors in autumn, epic snow conditions in the winter, flowing waterfalls in the spring, and perfect beach weather in the summer. Pro number six is the nightlife. Breweries and tap houses are a huge thing in Lake Tahoe, as is live music. You can probably go out anywhere in Tahoe and find live music any night of the week. I would say that South Lake Tahoe and Truckee are probably the most lively in terms of the bar and restaurant scene. So those were some of the perks of living in Lake Tahoe. Now I'm gonna get into a few of the cons. Again, I just wanna throw another reminder out there that these you know, my cons are my opinions. It's completely subjective and it's not like I'm hating on Tahoe. These are just some things that I noticed while living here. Con number one is the dry climate. So I know that I mentioned climate as part of the pros, but there is a downside to living in a place that is low humidity and high elevation. It can be really rough on your skin, your eyes, and your sinuses. I really can't tell if I've acclimated to the dry weather. I still wake up with bloody noses. I still get really bloodshot eyes, and my skin is still dry. I would say it's more of an inconvenience than a con. Yeah, just use moisturizer and chapstick like it's no one's business. Con number two, get ready to shovel. Obviously, Lake Tahoe gets a lot of snow. If you don't have covered parking, you're gonna be shoveling your car out quite often. It's, it could be kind of a nuisance. I don't know if this is necessarily a con, but if you don't like snow and you don't like shoveling, that is something to keep in mind. Con number three of living in Lake Tahoe is the isolation. Living in Lake Tahoe can feel socially isolating at times, especially if you move here by yourself. 
Um, I've had a couple people challenge me on this one. You know, it, it also can depend on your personality. If you're more of an extrovert, maybe you'll have an easier time uh, making friends. But if you're introverted and a little bit shy, it could feel isolating here. It could be a little bit challenging. One way of meeting people I found was to get a job. And then also just going out, you know, going out to the bars and stuff. I'm in restaurants, maybe by yourself. I don't know. Lake Tahoe can also feel physically isolating as well. It is a small town in the middle of the Sierra Mountains. On the plus, Reno Airport is only an hour away. So there's always the option to hop a flight and go visit friends and family when you need a little bit of a break from the isolation. Con number four is the crowds. Like most beautiful places, Lake Tahoe definitely gets its fair share of tourists during the busy seasons of winter and summer. I think summer is the busier of the two if I have to guess. Parking is often full at popular spots around Tahoe by 10 a.m., especially on the weekends. It is possible to circumvent the crowds, um, even during the busy summer months, if you get up really early or if you just avoid the weekends altogether, which is what I usually do. So those were some of my pros and cons of living in Lake Tahoe. All in all, I would say that the pros far outweighed the cons. So what do you guys think of some of the points made in this video? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I would love to hear some of your thoughts. I'd love to answer some of your questions. So please feel free to leave a comment. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.